Ladies and gentlemen, we have Diego Fernando Duque. He's a lawyer out of Santa Marta. I've known him for a few years. Great guy. And I wanted to basically do a video for you guys to know if you want to invest in Colombia. Uh, you know, what are the things to look for? But first and foremost, um, I want him to introduce himself, tell you a little bit about like his background and, and what he does. So let the people know, Diego. Uh, well, great. It's a, it's a great opportunity. Um, I'm Diego Fernando Duque Sulaga. I am a lawyer. I lived here in Santa Marta about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I met here in Santa Marta, Sebastian, about five years ago, I think. I have been, I have been working with law here in Santa Marta. Uh, since uh, 2007. 2007, and, okay. Uh, and I have been growing with the city. This is a huge city. It's a really special place. And we have been working here with a lot of activities. And well, man, it's a really nice place to live, to invest, and to do everything you want. So I work, I work with... Uh, with my own enterprise and I work with the, uh, with the government too. I work as a, uh, as a lawyer with the government. And in the same time, I work as a independent lawyer, uh, working each case, uh, each kind of cases, okay. most of all the civil cases and criminal cases. So you work civil cases, criminal cases, and you also work as a lawyer for the government. Yes, of course. I am I am the the leader and the owner of a of a medium big uh, law firm, and we work with about ten lawyers who is uh, working with me in all these kind of cases. Okay, and I'll put the link in the description so people know more about your company, your website, your Instagram, of course. Dale. Okay. So um, I want to ask you, what do you think are the best ways for a foreigner or a tourist to invest? you know, in another country, uh, for example, Colombia? Well, man, I have to tell you that f uh, there is a lot of reasons to to uh, think who is a great invest to uh, buy uh, real estate mm -hmm. or invest in any kind here in Colombia, in Santa Marta from foreigners because the change of the money, it's a really nice option. Uh -huh. uh, One dollar is uh, it's about... 4,000 pesos, so the change is a, is a really yeah. um, great option. But bes uh, but besides, here in Colombia, we are growing really fast. The tourism activity and the invest activity, like in, in, in builds and um, all-inclusive places, and there is a lot of um, activities who are growing, really growing, really, really growing fast. so fast. And um, besides, there is a lot of new tourism activities, mm -hmm. uh, restaurants, uh, discos. There is a lot of places who uh, you have the opportunity to invest and to grow wet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, for example, to Santa Marta, there is coming a lot of uh, foreign uh, capitals. Yeah. And there is a lot of people investing. And, man, uh, I have the opportunity to, to advise uh, a few investors. And, man, they are really happy because uh, their invest are really growing, are growing really fast. The people who come to Colombia uh -huh. all want to come back. And he's always telling to her friends, his friends, man, you have to go there. Because sure. there is that you, you could you know. And there is a lot of people who come to travel and then decide to invest here or uh -huh. even live here because there is a really nice to, For to, sure. to, to invest. For you sure. was me about how, which one is the best way to invest mm -hmm. and I'll tell you here in Colombia if you have your regular situation it's really easy to invest if you live here and you have your um, your passport you are able to buy a property a real estate without any kind of trouble yeah makes sense makes sense so right now we have 10 minutes left so I'm gonna make sure I have uh, two other questions I want to ask you okay now, what is the business culture like in Colombia? For example, you know, I'm from Canada. A lot of people watching here are from the United States. The culture, Canada, U.S. is close. It's not the same exactly, but, you know, I could do business in the U.S. and I won't miss a beat. But in Colombia, the, Colombi the culture is very different. Can you explain to us how is the culture, la cultura? 
Yeah, yeah, man. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a special situation because, well, you know, as we are in the Caribbean and there is a lot of maybe a, a more uh, fast way to live and there it takes maybe some kind of people of there is a lot of situations that you have to really watch out mm -hmm. to avoid the kind of, of hard situation or maybe a burglar or everything. Yes, here you can make business and it's, And it's, it's able to do it, but the advice is to take an advice, a serious advice, watch out your step, uh, get serious information about uh, what to buy, how to buy, with who you make your, your business, because, of course, there is, there is some kind of a risk. So when you say serious advice, you're talking about getting advice from a lawyer, things yes, like that. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You should get an advice from a lawyer or maybe a real estate house, but always a people who have experience and experience that you can to uh, verify. Yes, because yeah. as you know, it's so easy to put a web page and it's <laughs> done and get uh, and get uh, some wrong information. No, right. so you uh, verify the information, you are in the right place, you are talking with the right people and it's done. You can get a advice, a, right, a, a good advice and with that people, with uh, your lawyer or your yeah. um, real estate agent, Kel, uh, could get a, a, a great experience uh, maybe investing in a real estate or, or anything you, everything you want. Makes sense. Now, um, so this is for my next question. This, is, this leads to my next question. What are some of the dangers a foreigner should be aware of investing in a property or a business? Something you could give me like examples, things that they should really you know, look out for. Yes, man. That it's 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 uh, all, all about. Uh, I was just telling you. For example, there is a lot of people who is um, selling um, properties or real estate uh, in web page, and they take you your money. No, you can send me ten thousand, fifty thousand. I am buying you. I am and send you pictures of the place and all send right. you documents. But finally, if you can be able to to make sure. Well, when the people come here, they know why I, I am going for my former place where there is there is any kind of place and there is in nobody to answer to you. And when they want to check the web page or, or everything, well, there is nothing. First. Second, there is a lot of people who even go to the place and check the house, check mm -hmm. how we see everything, and they buy it. But when he realized that the people who is selling the place Yeah, wasn't the the the, the owner. owner? Wow, wow, wow! Did you come? No, I just buy this place. No man, uh, I am the owner. No, I buy it to one. No, one is. I, I didn't know one. Who is one? I don't. And the people lost the money. So that's wow. why it's really important to get information about a serious information, a serious advice. Because mm -hmm. man, there is always there is always people trying to steal your money. Right, right, right. Okay, so to watch out for people that selling houses, they don't own the houses, and um, you know, you send the money in. But should someone before investing, and this would happen to the guy last year, Timothy Reed, he lost his life in Barranquilla. He just moved to Colombia in December, and by January, February, he was already buying a house. Would you recommend for someone to come to Colombia and staying in Colombia for a while, getting a, some friends, getting a feel for the country before making a big decision like that. Yeah, man, it, it's clear. Of course, it's always a good, uh, a nice option to invest in, a, in, a, in this country. But I suggest you to come here, mm -hmm. know the people, know the place, know mm -hmm. the culture. And of course, as always, I'm in every place of the world, you have to watch out uh, who, who people you meet, Uh, uh, what, uh, what, which kind of people you um, share your information? Maybe you do you know a really nice girl or a, or yeah. a really handsome man who is telling you, no, I am your friend. So let's uh, let's go around and everything. Yeah. And, be, uh, and there is a lot of people who is trying to steal your money or even kill you. Well, as as uh, with uh, the people we are talking about about happening. Um, Now that's gonna be for another video. We could talk more about like uh, guys that come to Colombia and they get themselves with a woman, or even a woman that comes to Colombia gets up. And that's the mo I think it's the most dangerous situation to be in because 
it's someone that you could your guard is down you sleep with that person in the house you know your your guard is down as opposed to dealing with someone just business it's a lot harder to penetrate that 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 and and, and you are giving to that people all your information yeah. all your comfort and uh, well man i have to tell you and of course we have to talk you know in a long time in another video but i i have to tell you the the, the colombian women are really special and yeah. the world the, the men who who know the colombian women they they loves her because they are really lovely they are really sweet they are really uh, they they really take care of you so they, are cariñosa they are, yeah man they are really <laughs> Near, they are mm -hmm. cariñosa, cercanas. Mm -hmm. um, great. It's just the same thing. You have to make sure who, the people who you are talking with, yeah, the people who you are involving with, mm -hmm. because of course it's the same thing. I, I can tell you all the people is trying to steal your money, no, or all the women they are trying to catch you and then steal your money, no. There right. is a few, but you have to take care to not be in touch with That's this one. Exactly. That's Amazing. Great advice. I mean, I wish we could stay longer. There's just three minutes left on the call, but okay, we covered, we covered most of the things. And be, before we go, you said that you live in Santa Marta. Obviously the culture from city to city is very different. That's somebody, that's something that people should be aware of, right? The, the difference with Santa Marta and Bogota, Medellin, it's a different way of dealing, right? Yeah, sure. And, and that's, that's a really special situation here in Colombia, mm -hmm. here in Colombia. Or we are all Colombians, but as you know, in a different cities and the different areas, we are really different in the behave and the way to do the things, the way to express and everything. Uh -huh. But I can tell you something: all the most of the Colombians are really uh, uh, hot people, really near people, really mm -hmm. sweet people, really special, and we are always give, give, giving you the, the your welcome and open our arms to the people who is coming from all over the world. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, for example, the Caribbean people is so hot, is so um, strong and re really loud, yeah, 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 loud yeah. strong. Yes, mm -hmm. but for example, in Bogota, the people is more serious, uh -huh. more phlegmatic. So it's a really, it's a really great experience when you travel around Colombia and and can and you are able to know all these kind of different cultures inside just one country. Perfect. So thank you for breaking that down, Diego. Thank you for taking the time for the call with me. And and furthermore, you know, like everybody, this is a friend. This is a good friend of mine. We've been friends for years. Thank you for always taking care of me when I come to Colombia. You know, and I and I hope that I could come back to Colombia real soon. I'm I'm sure I'm my friend. Of course, I am always glad to talk with you. It's a pleasure. And of course, here is another friend for you. And man, anything, everything you need, I am here for you. Perfect. Muchas gracias. Hablamos. Hablamos. Dale. Okay. okay. Ciao.